Hello friends, welcome to Short Moral Tales. Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there was a noble knight named Sir Richard. He was renowned for his bravery, honor, and unwavering moral compass. The kingdom he served was governed by a wise and just king, who sought to maintain peace and harmony among his people. One sunny morning, as Sir Richard prepared for his daily training, a messenger arrived with urgent news. He said to Knight that the neighboring kingdom was in turmoil, torn apart by civil unrest and tyranny. The king of that land, known for his cruelty and oppressive rule, had been causing great suffering to his people. Upon hearing this distressing news, Sir Richard knew he had to act. He rode to the king's castle to seek an audience and offer his assistance. The king, impressed by Sir Richard's reputation and moral character, granted him an audience immediately. Sir Richard knelt before the king and pledged his loyalty and support. He proposed a peaceful resolution, advocating for diplomacy and negotiation to bring an end to the suffering of the neighboring kingdom. The king admired Sir Richard's noble intentions and agreed to send him as an emissary to the troubled land. With the king's blessing, Sir Richard set out on his noble mission. He rode through treacherous terrain, encountering various challenges along the way, but his determination never wavered. As he reached the neighboring kingdom, he witnessed firsthand the horrors inflicted upon the people by the tyrannical ruler. Sir Richard met with the oppressed citizens, listening to their stories and understanding their plight. He empathized deeply with their suffering and resolved to bring about change. He gathered a group of like-minded individuals, forming a small but dedicated rebellion against the tyrant's regime. The knight and his band of brave companions embarked on a series of covert operations strategizing to dismantle the oppressive system from within. Their actions were driven not by vengeance or violence, but by a steadfast commitment to justice and freedom. They won the hearts and trust of the people, slowly gaining momentum in their quest. Through tireless effort and unwavering moral principles, Sir Richard and his allies exposed the tyrant's atrocities to the world. Their acts of kindness and selflessness inspired others to join their cause. The rebellion grew stronger, attracting supporters from all walks of life, including some disillusioned members of the tyrant's own ranks. In a final climactic battle, Sir Richard confronted the tyrant face to face. But instead of seeking revenge, he offered the tyrant a chance to surrender peacefully and face justice for his crimes. The tyrant, recognizing the righteousness of Sir Richard's cause and witnessing the overwhelming support for the rebellion, finally relented. The kingdom rejoiced as the tyranny came to an end. Sir Richard's unwavering commitment to morality and justice had triumphed, bringing about a new era of peace and freedom for the neighboring land. The once oppressed citizens celebrated their liberation, grateful for the noble knight Sir Richard who had risked everything to save them. Sir Richard returned to his own kingdom, greeted as a hero by his king and fellow knights. His tale spread far and wide, inspiring generations to come to follow the path of righteousness and uphold moral values. He became a symbol of hope, reminding all that true strength lies not only in the might of one's sword but also in the nobility of one's character. I hope you like watching this story. See you soon with a new short moral tale. Bye.